Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix network error with the game on your Windows computer. Now the first step is to run Steam or Epic Games Launcher as an administrator. So if you have Steam open, you can type in Steam in Windows search. First of all, close Steam. So if Steam is running, you can go to Steam, then click on exit. If you have the game on Epic Games Launcher, you can go to Epic Games Launcher and you can close Epic Games Launcher from here. So exit Epic Games Launcher. And then if you have the game on Steam, type in Steam in Windows search box, make a right click on Steam and then click on run as administrator. Make sure that you open Steam as an administrator and then you can check. Similarly, if you have the game on Epic Games Launcher, type in Epic Games Launcher, make, close Epic Games Launcher and then make a right click and then click on run as administrator and then launch the game. Now the next step is to set time and date to automatic. So open Windows settings and then go to time and language and then go to date and time and make sure set time zone automatically is on. Also make sure set time automatically is also on and then click on sync now. Sync now is important. So click on sync now. If you see any errors in red color, just click on sync now once again and then you can launch the game. Now still not working then you can manually set the time back to like one day before and then so you can go to time and language and then you can go to date and time and then over here turn off set time automatically turn it off and then click on change and suppose uh, today is 3rd january so maybe you can set it to uh, like third then you can set it to like 2nd January so you can change the date and then hit on the tick mark and then click on change and then you can launch the game now once the game is up and running once you are on the game menu now you can go back to the date and time and you can turn it on and then check still not working the next step is to add all the exe file to antivirus program so if you have any third party antivirus like avast not on bit defender mcafee whichever antivirus program you have allow all the exe file to your antivirus and windows security so if you are using windows security go to privacy and security in windows 11 in windows 10 you will have an option update and security then click on windows security now click on virus and threat protection scroll down at the bottom you will see manager ransomware protection click on it now click on allow an app through control folder access click on yes to allow and then click on add an allowed app now click on browse all apps now go to the game installation folder so wherever the game is installed so if the game install on C drive, open C drive. If you have the game on Steam, then open program file 686. Now open the Steam folder, Steam apps folder. Now open the common folder. Over here, you will find the game folder. Open the game folder. I have the game on Epic Games Launcher. So for Epic Games Launcher, you can go back, open C drive, open program files, and then open Epic Games. And then you can open the game folder and then select all the exe file. Click on open. Again, click on add and load app. Click on browse all apps. Second, this launch HLL open and then again click on add and load app. Now open HLL folder binaries Win64. Select this exe file. Click on open. Click on add and load app. Click on browse. And this time go back and then open easy anti cheat folder and then select this exe file and then click on open do the same thing in control panel so type in control panel and then go to control panel go to system and security windows defender firewall click on allow an app or feature through windows defender firewall click on change settings at the top click on allow another app click on browse and again do the same thing so open the game folder and then select you have to add all the exe file so this exe file click on open click on add Again, click on allow another app, click on now launch add. Again, click on allow another app, click on browse, open this HLL binaries Win64. Select this exe file, click on open, click on add. Again, click on allow another app, click on browse and then go back and open easy anti-cheat folder. And then select this exe file, click on open and then click on add. Once everything is added, now you can launch the game and then check still not working. The next step is to verify the game files. Now for this, you can make a right click on the game, select properties and then go to install files tab and then click on verify integrative game files. I don't have the game on Steam. I have the game on Epic Games Launcher. Epic Games Launcher, click on these three dots and then click on manage and then click on verify. After the verification is complete, launch the game and then check. Still not working, then please follow the rest of the steps shown in this video. 
Now the first step is to restart your PC. Do not ignore this step. Just restart your computer once and after the system restart you can launch the game and then check. Still not working, restart Steam. So go to Steam, at the top click on Steam and then click on exit. Now once Steam is closed, now you can type in Steam in Windows search box, make a right click on Steam and then click on run as administrator. And while restarting Steam, if there is any update for the game, update the game. Now still you are facing the problem. Next step is to verify the game files. Now this is important. So make sure that you verify the game files. To verify the game files, go to Steam on the top click on library and then find the game in the list. Make a right click on the game and then select properties and then go to installed files tab and then click on verify integrative game files. Once the verification is 100% complete, now you can launch the game and then check. Now the next step is to make sure date, time, time zone and reason is correct on your computer. So on, now you can for this open windows settings. Now go to go to time and language. Now go to date and time and then over here you can see set time zone automatically. If this is on, if this is off, turn it on. If set time automatically is off, turn it on. Make sure both are on and then scroll down and then you will see sync now option. So click on sync now. If you see any error in red color, just click on sync now once again and then go to time and language once again and then go to language and region and make sure your country is selected over here. Select the right country and then check. Next step is to perform power cycle. To perform power cycle, first of all, shut down your computer. Now, once you shut down your computer, after you shut down your computer, unplug the power cable from the computer, then turn off the Wi-Fi router, then wait for a few seconds and then restart your Wi-Fi router, plug in the power cable back to the computer and then start your computer and then you can check. Still not working. The next step is to run these commands. These commands are provided in the video descriptions. Type in CMD in Windows search box, make a right click on command prompt app and then click on run as administrator. Click on yes to allow. Now paste the command over here. So copy the command one by one. Paste it over here, hit the enter key. Now copy the second command. Now paste it over here, hit the enter key. And now run the third command. Paste it, hit the enter key. Run this command, paste it, hit the enter key. And then run the last command. Paste it, hit the enter key. Now you have to restart your computer. Restart is a must after this and after the system restart you can check. Next step is to now if you're using any third party antivirus like Avast, Norton, Bitdefender, McAfee, whichever antivirus program you're using allow the game exe file to your antivirus program. So allow the game exe file or you can allow the complete game folder to the exception list of that particular antivirus program and then you can launch the game and then check. Windows security user allow the game exe file to control folder access and Windows firewall. To add the game exe file to Windows security, open Windows settings and then go to privacy and security. If you have Windows 11, if you have Windows 10, click on update and security and then click on Windows security. Now click on virus and threat protection. Scroll down at the bottom, you will see manage ransomware protection. Click on it. Now click on allow an app through control folder access and then click on yes to allow and then click on add an allowed app now click on browse all apps now go to the game installation folder so wherever the game is installed go to the game installation folder open the open your drive and then open open program file 686 now open the steam folder now open the steam apps folder and then open the common folder and then open the game folder and then select the game exe file in your game folder so you can check all the game folder uh, there might be one or two exe file. You have to add the exe file, game exe file, and then click on open. And once the game is added over here, now you can launch the game and then check. You can do the same thing in firewall. So type in control panel in Windows search box and then go to system and security, Windows Defender Firewall. Click on allow an app or feature through Windows Defender Firewall. Click on change settings on the top. Click on allow another app. Again, click on browse and then go to the game installation folder wherever the game is installed. Open the game folder, select the game exe file and then click on open. Once the game is added over here, click on add. And once the game is added, 
to the firewall now you can click on ok and then you can launch the game and then check now the next step is to use google dns server now for this open control panel so type in control panel in windows search box open control panel now go to network and internet and over here you have to click on network and sharing center now over here you will see your wi-fi so click on your wi-fi and then click on properties over here now over here select internet protocol version 4 tcp iv4 and then click on select this and then click on properties now once you click on property select the second option over here use the following dns server addresses now over here type in 8888 so you, you have to type in 88 i have already in my case it, it's already typed in so type in 8888 and then at, for alternate dns servers type in 8844 and then put a check on validate settings upon exit and then click on ok close this and let this complete now close this close it now you can launch the game and then check next step is to switch to different network so if you have any other network available like you can if you have any other network you can switch to different network and once you're connected to different network you can check you can even switch to mobile hotspot so you can turn on the data on your phone and then turn on the hotspot on your phone and then you can connect to your phone network over here and once connected now you can launch the game and then check if you're using vpn then close vpn and then check next is to use ethernet connection so if you have an ethernet cable you can connect the ethernet cable to the ethernet port of the computer so if your computer has an ethernet port you can use ethernet cable to connect and then check next step is to update windows to the latest version this is important so go to windows settings go to windows update and then click on check for update once all the updates are installed now restart your computer and after the system restart you can check so one of the steps shown in this video should help you to fix the connectivity issue so that'll be all thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel so one of the steps shown in this video should help you to fix the error so that'll be all thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel